Hello, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? Pretty good. What can I do for you? Um, I have this Star Wars Ewok telephone. I wanna see what you think about it. You mind if I take it out of the box? Go ahead. Ewok. That was the little creature in Return of the Jedi and they battled the stormtroopers. Wasn't the, the popular one named like Wicket? Yes, or something and, like that? and actually I think this is Wicket. Would you like to make a call on it? <laughs> Why not? I got it here, don't I? I think he said, let's go on a picnic, yeah, Chum Chum. I, That's kind of weird, he knows I, my I, name. Are you part Ewok that you were able to understand what he was saying? I think my mom was from outer space, well, so you never okay. know. I have a Star Wars Ewok toy telephone I'm trying to sell today. And it's from 1984, and it's still in its original box. I'm hoping to get about $175. Oh, that's pretty cool. Let's face it, Star Wars is gonna be popular forever. The reason being is because people your age like it, people older than you like it, people younger than you like it. I think this is a good item because there's not a lot of wicked stuff around. It kind of makes the stuff a little more rare when you're collecting it. Yes. Let me take a look at the overall condition because you on bet. first glance it looks like perfect, yes. almost too good to be true. Do you mind if I pop the battery thing open? No, go ahead. Um, I'm imagining it was in this good condition that you probably yes. didn't store it with the battery in no. it. No. So I just gotta check and make sure, you know. It looks pristine and that's amazing because as a kid, I would've put a battery in this and I would've probably never took it out. And people don't realize the two easiest things to do is trash the box and corrode the battery pocket. Yes. Those are kind of the two things that really add to the value of yes. an item because those are the first two things to go. How much are you looking to get for it? I'd like to get maybe 175. Um, the box is in great condition. It's a great piece. It displays well. It looks awesome. And it is collectible. Plus, my boss is in London right now looking at a bunch of Star Wars stuff. So I think he'll like this. Would you take 75 for it? Um, let me ask Wicked <laughs> and see if he thinks that's good. No, I actually think you should take 40. Whoa, Wicket, you're on my side. <laughs> he said, how about 100? That still gives you room to double it. You probably could get 200 out of it. You wouldn't take 90? Uh, how about, how about 95? What do you think, Wicket? <laughs> I think that's a yes. Uh, I think he said yes. Wicket can dance. We can All right, 95, we got a deal. Thank you. Come on over here, let's write it up. Okay, cool. I sold it for $95. I was hoping to get maybe a little more, but maybe I'll save it and buy another Star Wars item and add another item to my collection. So did you miss me? Didn't even notice you were gone. Well, London was absolutely amazing. I bought a Star Wars poster signed by all the cast and the crew. Heard you were out on a little Star Wars mission? Yes, I was. Check it out. Ewok talking telephone. Um, okay. <laughs> you know who Wicked is, right? He just said, I'm an Ewok, give Chum a raise. He buys good things. Um, okay, because I didn't understand one bit of it. Well, you don't speak Ewok. I know this doesn't even come close to comparing with the big items that you saw. I actually saw Han Solo's original blaster from the original movie. It's pretty cool. Did you try to buy it? No, it's like worth like a million dollars. So you're too cheap. You know what? I'm proud of my purchase here. I think you'll do good on it. Good job, chum. Good job, chum. Thank you. So where's your next vacation? I wonder if they got any cool stuff in the Bahamas. 